the reading for today is from John, the Gospel of John, the 19th chapter. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, though a secret one, because of his fear of the religious authorities, asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission, so he came and removed his body. Nicodemus, who had at first come to Jesus by night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrhs and aloes, weighing about a hundred pounds. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with the spices and linen cloths, according to the burial custom of the Jews. Now there was a garden in the place where he was crucified, and in the garden there was a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation and the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. It was on Saturday when he was not there. Those who don't like corpses can't stay away from graveyards unless there's some prohibition to stop them revisiting the dead end of their hopes and their dreams. It's as if they think that should the voice speak again, it will speak there or a sunbeam will dance or a flower will shoot and give a song of misinterpreted life but close the seminary or confine through custom or constraint, the wailing ones in the house, and it looms larger, the lost, the lostness. People shiver in an upstairs room, warm though the day is. Others weep in circles. Memory is focused on memory. The mind's eye traces to the profile and the face, the smile, the gentle twitching of the nose and fails, and a panic sets in because it seems he can't be remembered. Was he ever known? It was on the Saturday that he was not there. Would you pray with me? In the silence of the garden, in the silence of the tomb, we come to you, O oh God. The silence seems to surround us now, yet you are here with us. For healing for Sally and Matt and Don and Sarah and Richard and Susie, for Kelsey, and for Jack's family, and for all those who are sick and grieving, for those who are caring for the sick, and for those that we now name in the silence of our hearts. We will remember even in times like these when we do not know the future, we will remember, oh God, that you are with us. And we join our hearts and voices together, though we are part in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, forgive us, us our trespasses, as we as forgive we for those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from the world. Thine is the kingdom, the kingdom power, 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 and the glory forever. forever. Amen. Alicia, would you like to lead us in the mission? I will. As followers of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ responding to God's, to God's love, our mission is to people of Broadway Church is to be a multicultural Christian community and in its history seeks to welcome and value all people. Yes, God, who hovered over the darkness that covered the earth at the beginning of time that God's spirit may move among us in the silence of this day, preparing us for new life. Amen. 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 Peace be with you. Peace, Peace be, be with, with you. you. Thank you for seeing everyone. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you, everybody. Peace. Enjoy this holy Saturday. Yeah. 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 It's holy, very quiet Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Betsy. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Shana. Hey, Shana. Yeah. Alicia, hi. Mm -hmm. Ann. 
Yeah, good to see Mike. Thank you. Do we have a live service tomorrow or is it recorded? It's it's recorded tomorrow, but at at 1030 we will have a very brief time of inviting you all to come together online for a brief Zoom call. I know there's another group that's going to have a Zoom call of like a coffee hour, but this will just be, I just thought trying to get everybody to see each other on Easter as much as we could tomorrow at 1030. Yeah. Okay. Good things. Great. That sounds great. Okay. So, and yes, the it'll, be, will be available at what time? Jim, will that be 10? Or before? Uh, probably um, 9 30, 10. Okay, somewhere. Look for the time. Facebook will let you know, maybe. <laughs> and and <laughs> I, think, I think Karen will send out an email as well.